Hey, Phone Sites users. So in the past, a number of you have asked how you can add some additional formatting to the text on your landing page. Um, in the past, you might have used some coding for that. You don't have to use coding for this anymore. If you go into, under the Design tab, either the Add Block option at the bottom of the page or down here at the bottom of the page, either way, what you can do is you can add in a new feature. It's called the Content Block. So let's go ahead and select Content. And let's just put in some random text in here. So add random compelling text. And then let's just put in here like, um, I don't know, some more text in here. So let's say one line, two lines, three lines. And what I want to do with one, two, and three here is I'm going to go and highlight that and then click on um, this option here in the formatter. And this is just going to bullet uh, these items here. Um, I can change it so that it's not bullets. I could make it, uh, like if I click through here again, I can make it, um, you know, numerical lists. If I click through here again, I can deselect that list. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put that back to um, the bulleted list there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and select this word here, compelling. And let's say I wanna give that a little bit more of attention. So now I wanna uh, maybe make that bold. I could make it italicized. I could make this underlined. Um, if I only wanted one of these, I don't have to do all three of these. I can just do deselect there. And let's just leave that underlined and let's put maybe like this word here as bold. So what I'm trying to point out here is you don't have to put in coding around these words, add or compelling, uh, like you did in the past. You can simply just highlight whichever word or words that you want to adjust and then click down through here to reformat this however you want it. Now, let's say that I wanted to say, click here to join or something like that. And if I wanted that to be hyperlinked, let's make that not bold, not italicized, not underlined. Let's say I wanted the word here to be hyperlinked. Now I can select here and then click the little link icon right there. And let's say, uh, I'll just put in phone, phone sites uh, website here. So yes, phone sites.com, insert link, and there we go. And then I can also make this um, be either left aligned, center aligned, right aligned. So let's make that right aligned. And I like it best on left aligned, so let's go ahead and put it back over there. Let's save that and then let's view this. So I'm just gonna hit command on my Mac or control on a Windows PC. And then uh, while I'm holding down on that key, I'm gonna click on view. And that's gonna open that up in a new tab so I can preview this. If I need to go back and make changes, I still got that tab open, but here we go. So this is how it's gonna look. And if I wanna click through, there we go. So that took me to the phone sites URL that I had put in there into that link. Okay, guys. Um, if you needed to go in and make any other coding changes too, you can simply do that. You can um, you can click right in here, this little icon over here, the less than and greater than symbol. We click in there, you're gonna see all of this HTML added in there. Um, if you know any coding, you can go in here and change this. Uh, a good resource for coding is W3Schools. W3Schools.com, we can go to the HTML tab, the CSS tab, and we can we can learn some basics in here. We can grab some of the, the code that they have in here. This is a great place for you to learn how to use a little bit of coding. But what you could do is you could see, um, maybe like if you wanted to add in paragraphs or if you wanted headings and so forth, you can you can learn exactly how, um, how to manipulate HTML and then go back into your editor here in the content block for phone sites and then change this. Uh, I'm not going to dive into how you can use this. You'll need to figure that out on your own. Uh, but anyways, hopefully this is a great start for you guys to help personalize the content a little bit better, but you really don't need to dig into the, the HTML option that you have here. This is probably sufficient for what you guys need here. One other option I didn't go through here, this is just to add in an image. Let's go ahead and try that out real quick here and see how that works. I'm going to remove those and let's click through oops my bad let's click through and add an image here let's just put in that picture right there insert that 
save, and let's open this up in another tab. And there you go. So you got that little image in there, as well as the, um, the list of items and our formatted text. Now, it looks kind of junky on my side just because I put random stuff in here, but I just wanted to basically use this video to show you the new functionality here that you can use in the content block. Let us know if you have any questions, guys.